Okay, congratulations on the movie. Another Thank you. Beautiful adaptation of your work. Thank you very much. And in North Carolina, no less. Right. It was I'm, nice to be able to leave my front door and head over to set in about you know ten minutes. It was that's great. That's nice. I mean, North Carolina is to your work like Maine is to Stephen uh, Stephen King's work. Yeah, I it think. is. I would think. Yeah. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. go ahead. I mean, I, it's a place I live. It's fun to for me to introduce the world or let to where I live and and mm -hmm. for them to see why I find it such a great place to live and tell and to set stories in that region. Absolutely, yeah. And um, uh, this work deals with familiar themes you've ex you've explored as a writer, but it also feels different the way the story evolves as it goes through. I mean, were you looking to make like a break in any sort of formula you've been working with? Or? Well, there's really no, the only formula is that I try to make the stories feel as different as they possibly can. And, and as knowing there are going to be certain elements of familiarity, right? We know it's in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. We know you're going to have a, a couple of flawed characters, but, you know, overall they're good people. You know there's going to be a love story in there. But other than that, I just try to make it as fresh and real as I possibly can so that you would be able to, for instance, watch The Choice in the theater and then go home and watch The Longest Ride on DVD. And, yeah, they're love North Carolina, love stories. You like the characters, but they feel utterly and totally different. Yeah, absolutely. And and Tom, you get to play a character who you think you've figured out at the beginning of the movie, but as it goes along, he's not the character you think he is. Was there any special challenge for you in playing that kind of a character? Um, yeah, it was a quite enjoyable. I mean, to, to play a guy who, you know, who's, is on a, a route for his life that is seemingly perfect, and that changes and um, sets him down a very different path, Mm -hmm. um, I like that because it, 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 it felt very human and very grounded to me the way this character um, went through this story. Yeah, exactly. Because you expect um, your character and Travis to have like this big confrontation. I mean, you do kind of, but then it evolves from there. Yeah. So as a result, the characters are a lot more complex than they are in your usual romantic movie. Yeah, I think, and it speaks to, to the writing where it's just, it, it really just gets underneath your skin and into your heart, and it makes everybody a better person. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, was there anything in specific about this adaptation that you wanted to make it stand out from the others of your work? I, I think I wanted it to be fresh and, and feel fresh and original on its own, uh, a film that, that survives on its own merits. And that mm -hmm. always comes down to not just, of course, the story that I wrote, but how did the screenwriter adapt it, and how did the director film it, and how did the cast pull off their roles and so mm -hmm. it's a very collaborative process and just concentrating in those terms I try to avoid big esoteric themes of hey I, this is a, a message I want to get across I'm just hoping for the best movie th that I can possibly have right right and Tom you play a doctor in this movie was there any research you did or did you just work with the script um, well it all came together together very quickly for me um, for me it was a fitting of, of a jacket um, how to hold a clipboard, make sure you write with either, is he right-handed or left-handed, mm -hmm. and then we were filming. <laughs> pretty quick. And he can now do those commercials. He says, yeah, <laughs> oh, I'm not a doctor, but I played one in a movie <laughs> exactly. once, right? So exactly. that'll be fun. So That's, we gave him a, that career boost as well. Where do you want to see your adaptations go from here, or you would go from here? Well, I think, uh, again, they're one project at a time, and I think Tom would speak to this. When you when you work on anything, whether it's, it's the show he was on or the show he, he hopes that will be picked up, you know, and, and get filmed, you want to make that as, as quality as you possibly can, and you really just stay focused on that because work, it's just one day at a time. You put it together, and in the end, you hope you have something that you're proud to have created or been part of. Absolutely. That's great. Make good choices. And make good choices, yes. <laughs> absolutely. Right. Congratulations on the movie. Hey, thank you. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. you.